morning, friends. Well, I guess it's not really morning. It's about 11 o'clock. And uh, we're going to pray here because why not? That's what we are called to do. And it's a beautiful day in Sacramento here. And um, these trees are looking pretty bare after the storm. But I'll get on to it here. Um, first, I'd like to pray for a new friend that I'm glad to have on the channel here. One of 18 of you. <laughs> Her name is Marsha. Um, YouTubing with Marsha is her channel name. So we're happy to have Marsha here. I'm happy to call her a sister in Christ. And I'd like to pray over Marsha. And we can all come together in prayer because we know there's power in prayer, but we know there's even more power when we come together, when two or more gather. That's why Jesus loves us to uh, gather together. That's why, you know, that's the great thing about being in a church or fellowshipping with fellow believers is a good thing because the power that uh, comes together when we unite and we, we agree on these things in the name of Jesus. All right, so... For Marsha, we're, we're praying for her family and her friends that that they uh, that they come to know, know you, Lord. That um, there there wouldn't be any division in their faith. That they would have faith in you. That you are the way, the truth, and the life. <clears throat> that they're that they'd be all in for you. And because you, you want all of us, you don't want just some of us. We pray that there be uh, no lukewarmness in their spirit. That that they would have uh, that they wouldn't have one foot in, Lord. That, that they wouldn't be trying to play church. That they would know that you are the Messiah, you are the Lord, and we pray for uh, boldness for for Marsha and her family and her friends. That all of them would even come to know you more and that they would know that you are truth and that they would be on fire for you in, in these last days we know we're in the last days um yeah so we, we're all coming in agreement lord before you that uh marcia her family and her friends especially that they uh they turn from any lukewarmness easy sometimes to, to play church, to have one foot in and one foot out. But you warn us of that, God. You said you would rather us be one or the other. In fact, you make it clear that it's better that if we weren't on fire for you, that we would just be totally opposite of that. Seems you could work with that person better than somebody who plays with God and we don't want to play with you we want to uh, acknowledge you in all your ways and know um, that you are all truth and so yeah we just come together for boldness for Marsha as well give her boldness God um it sounds like she has a tender heart. And uh, we pray that she has boldness while having a tender heart. Those are some good qualities. Boldness and a tender heart. You call us to be bold. And we are supposed to have a tender heart. And uh, let, let her watch her tongue, <laughs> too. That's something that we all struggle with, I'm sure. I know I do. We pray that she watches her tongue, <laughs> And um, <clears throat> that she's slow to speak. And that she also has the right words to speak when she does speak. Because our words are powerful, God. And uh, having the right words to say to somebody is very important. We don't want to lead any, any, any of your sheep astray. We want them to know, know you, Jesus. 
And uh, so, yeah, we're, we're all coming to agreement there, friends, for uh, for Marsha and for her family and for her friends, that all these prayers go forth, Lord, and you do wonderful works for her and for her friends and family. Bring them to you. Keep your hand on them, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right. Next person I'd like to pray for is my new sister, Anna. And she's great. She's been commenting on the videos, and uh, I love that. I love to read the comments and stuff like that. That's that's good to we learn from each other that way. Um, I want to pray for Anna, Lord, that you keep showing her things and you keep her in your grace. And I I can tell that uh, you're using her as a light. I pray that I, I believe uh, it's her husband. I believe that she continues to. Uh, reach him and that um, that he he, he uh, begins to to know you more as well and bring them together even closer for your glory um, you can use a wife or a husband to reach the other person uh, often and uh, it seems like she's doing that and we pray that she continue to do that and that Anna would also have the right words to speak to him so that he knows that you are the truth and the way and the life and that he would put his faith fully in you. Also, we're all coming to agreement for Anna's husband for his back pain. Um, boy, anybody that's had back pain before, we know how serious that can get and it can get, it could, it could rise up and get real bad. But uh, I pray in the name of Jesus that you heal us back. Whatever's going wrong with it, Lord, just heal it. You know it better than anybody else. You created it. Every ligament, every nerve and bone in that thing. It's not even the doctors fully understand the back. But you do, Lord, because you created us. And we pray for, um, we pray for his back pain to, to flee and... Uh, I'm sure she's prayed for it as well. And so now we're two or more gathered. We're praying about her husband's back that he may be healed and get some relief and that it it uh, does not come up. Um, also, uh, just a reminder this morning from watching uh, Chris Eastep, we're to pray for the Jews, okay? The Jews are God's chosen people. We love them. We pray for them. <laughs> yeah, that they would repent and that they would know the Messiah. And they will. So, Lord, we come before you today and we pray for any unbelievers over there in Israel, any Jew. We pray that they repent of anything they need to, any unbelief, any idolatry, any traditions, Lord. And we pray that they flee from those things and that they put you first and that they know that there is only one way to the Father and that's their Messiah the Lord Jesus Christ Yeshua and they will know that because we got the words that we read that tells us all truth and we know that in the end days they will truly know God for their Messiah so let's keep the Jews in our prayers Definitely. <clears throat> the next person I'd like to pray for is Chris Easta. Go follow him on YouTube. <clears throat> He's a great guy. He's uh, very direct and to the point. I guess some people might think he's offensive, but guess what? Sometimes that's what we need to listen up. He tells you what I am going to tell you always. Read the Bible for yourself. Okay? I say that all the time. He says it about five times a day. He makes videos. Read the Bible for yourself, folks. Nobody's going to be able to lie to you if you read it. Because the Holy Spirit guides us into all truth. It's impossible to be fooled. If you have the Spirit of God, His Holy Spirit, and if you're saved and, and, and you've asked the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, to live inside of you, you have it. You're sealed with it. We believe that as believers in Christ, that we're sealed with the Holy Spirit 
And now that if you have that spirit of God and you're reading the word of God, it's done. You, you're going to have you, you just keep reading that word and it will shine light to you every day. The more you read it, the more you will understand it. And uh, I just pray for everybody listening that they have the hunger and desire for the word because the, we learn through the word and the word is God. <clears throat> And follow Chris Estep. He's he's really good. Estep last name um, E S T E P. Chris Estep is his channel name. Great guy. He he's a he's an end time guy. He he reads a lot of dreams and and visions that people send in about end time events, rapture dreams. I love that stuff. <laughs> it's uh, easy for me to geek out on that and watch like ten videos. So I gotta watch it sometimes. <laughs> but uh. He'll have you thinking you're going to be raptured up while you watch a video. Who knows? Maybe so. But uh, pray for East, Chris Step. He's in our prayers that you use his channel to reach many. And he already has. And we pray that uh, your glory uh, is shown. Uh, it is uh, that you glorify, that you're glorified in his, his work for you, Lord. Um yeah, that's a, that's about it for for now. Um, I just wanted to get those few short prayers. Um, I like to pray in private, but you, uh, it's a, it's also good, I think, to get on here, um, so we can come together in agreement. Like I said, when we come together and we agree in prayer, even if you watch this and you agree to it, uh, there's power in prayer, and power when we get together, even for ten minutes. And uh, I'll get off of here now, so it is about ten minutes. <laughs> I need to do another half hour video right now, but I will still be praying for you guys. And I also ask for uh, that you folks pray for me and my family, uh, my wife Jackie and my uh, parents and sister and just my family overall, that all of them would uh, come closer to God as well and that we would be strengthened. And uh, I pray for, for that as well. So, all right, guys, catch you later.